Monkeys are fascinating animals to watch and interact with. They are incredibly intelligent creatures and are very close relatives to humans. Just like humans, we classify monkeys as primates. Primates have relatively larger brains than the size of their body and a higher degree of intelligence. 1. Monkeys are classified into two major groups. These extraordinary creatures are classified into two main groups, Old World Monkeys and New World Monkeys. Old World Monkeys, also known as Cercopithecidae, are the most prominent primate family. These species of monkeys live in Africa and Asia. What's peculiar about Old World Monkeys is their downward-pointing nostrils. Also, many Old World Monkeys have pouches in their cheeks for storing food. Old World Monkeys include baboons, proboscis, mandrill, colobus, and patters monkeys. 2. Monkeys have tails. Both Old World Monkeys and New World Monkeys have tails. However, each species has some distinctions. New World monkeys like spider and howler monkeys have prehensile, capable of grasping, tails. Some New World monkeys use their prehensile tails to hold objects and tree branches. Old World monkey species have non-grasping and much shorter tails. The longest tail belongs to the female spider monkey. With a body length of about 2 feet long, these species can have a tail of 3 feet in length. Their tails can even carry their body weight and pick up objects like peanuts. 3. Most monkeys live in tropical regions. Most monkeys live in tropical regions of Central and South America, Asia, and Africa. New World monkeys stay in the tropical areas close to the Amazon rainforest in South America. Some also live in northern and southern Mexico. The Old World monkeys live in rainforests, savannas, and mountains in Africa and Asia. Baboon monkeys live in savannas, wooded areas, and hillsides. The gelada and golden monkeys live in the mountains, while vervet monkeys prefer to live near the lakes and streams. Typically monkeys live in trees, grassland, forests, mountains, and high plains in most parts of the world. 4. A group of monkeys is referred to as a troop. A group of monkeys is referred to as a troop, tribe, or mission. A troop consists of individual monkeys that live and travel together in search of food. They also work to take care of their young monkeys. A troop typically has social structures. The most common is the one male group. In this structure, one male monkey leads a group of female monkeys and can mate with all of them. However, other males seeking to overthrow him can threaten him. Examples of this troop structure include howler monkeys and patters monkeys. Traveling in troops also protects them from predators. 5. Some monkeys have opposable thumbs. Human beings are not the only ones with opposable thumbs. Opposable thumbs are needed for grasping and can rotate in different directions. They are rare among animals because most of them do not need thumbs to survive. However, in some old and new world monkeys, they are common. Old world monkeys like baboons, macaques, and grivets use their thumbs for holding onto trees and objects. Few New World monkeys like the night monkey, capuchin, and squirrel monkeys have opposable thumbs. Other animals like koalas, apes, and chimp species also have opposable thumbs. 6. Squirrel monkeys can make different sounds. 
If you've ever heard monkey sounds, you would agree that they can be pretty loud. From screams to squawks and barks. Did you know that the squirrel monkey is one of the most vocal monkeys three, and these creatures can make at least 26 different sounds, including purrs, screamers, and more. Squirrel monkeys eat nuts, leaves, insects, and small vertebrates. They are exceptional jumpers and runners and primarily live on trees. They are also very active during the day and sleep in a bunch together at night. 7. Some monkeys love to take a relaxing hot bath. The Japanese macaques, also known as snow monkeys, can be found in four regions in Japan. They are adaptable to various weathers and temperatures, including hot mountain springs, subtropical forests, and highlands. Troops of Japanese macaque monkeys go to the volcanic hot springs at Jigokudani Monkey Park in Japan for a hot relaxing bath. Interestingly, research has it that these hot baths help to reduce stress in these monkeys. 8. Capuchin monkeys are skilled with tools. Capuchin monkeys are known for being really intelligent. These monkeys are said to be skilled with tools. According to archaeological findings, the capuchin monkeys have been using tools for over 3,000 years too. Their tool skills have also evolved. The capuchin monkey will crack its nut open by placing the nuts on a stone and using another stone to break them open. What's more remarkable is that the capuchin monkey has been seen adjusting their tool size, using smaller rocks for the softer and smaller nuts. These monkeys also exhibit some bizarre behaviors. A group of white-faced capuchin monkeys stick their fingers in one another's noses and rub their furs on insects like giant African millipedes to repel other insects from them. 9. The first primate in space was a monkey. Yes, the rhesus monkey was the first primate in space, even before humans. The rhesus monkey named Albert I was sent into space before humans to see how safe it was. Scientists needed to test their ability to launch a living creature into space and bring it back unharmed. This monkey launch into space took place in 1948, June 11, in White Sands, New Mexico. Scientists also used other animals like chimps and dogs. 10. Monkeys sleep while sitting down on a tree. Monkeys sleep while sitting on trees. They choose their night perch, balancing on branches and sitting upright. They not only do this for comfort but also to hide away from predators. Monkeys can sleep as long as 9.5 hours, which is much more than the typical 8-hour sleep for humans. Nocturnal night monkeys like owl monkeys sleep for as long as 17 hours a day. The owl monkey has large eyes and improved vision at night. They can also communicate with each other using scents.